In this video, we'll customize the main menu to look like this. Before that, I'd like to formally invite you to a Discord server I recently created. We can all hang out and learn from each other. There are also simple guides and channels full of free resources found in the server. If you're interested in joining, you can find the link in the description. First, let's replace the background. Let's hover over the background and press Shift-I on the keyboard. This will show the displayable inspector, which will list the UI elements that are displayed on the screen. This means in our screen main menu, we have an image that is main underscore menu dot png located inside the GUI folder. Just to check, let's open the GUI folder from the RenPy launcher, and we can find our images here. Since we want to replace this, we should have an image of the same name and move it to the GUI folder. So here's what it looks like and we still want to remove this overlay. So let's do shift I again in our main menu frame. We'll see that we have a background. It's the same folder in GUI, but instead of changing the image, we want to remove it. So let's check the code. Let's go to script dot rpy let's make sure that our whole folder is selected so we can search there and let's search for the file location let's comment this out to remove it and let's click return return shift r to reload and we have removed it what we want to do is to place this in the center so first we have to align it in the center let's do shift i over the item we have our text or button text start here let's go to navigation and we see here that our x align is 0, 0.0 so you can just set that to 0 0.5 for it to be centered let's go to our navigation button text and set that property here x align 0 0.5 right Turn and you can now see that the alignment is centered. Now we want this position to be somewhere here. So let's check the code again. It is inside a VBox. It's positioned with an X plus of 60. So that means that we can find the code here in the VBox. Let's search for the start button. And our X plus is this one. But what we want to do is to actually set this to centered. So let's code X align 0 0.5. So if we check the project, the text is on the center. Now we want it to be lower. We have set the Y align to be 0 0.5, so that's why it's centered vertically. We can change this to 0 0.8. So yeah, uh, it went down. Or another way is we can do Y offset, let's say 300, just to show you. It went down. There are really many ways of positioning buttons. Uh, we'll talk about that in another video, but for now, we don't need this one since Y align 0 0.8 works perfectly. So now let's say we want to change the font color. Shift I. Again, navigation button text. We'll see here that the font color is idle color AAA. We can change it in button text. So if we search button text, Let's set this font color to another color. Now it turned brown. Let's also replace the hover color because it doesn't really fit. Hover color is the color of the button when it is hovered. We can change directly here. We can replace it here. So color for the buttons and bars when they are hovered. Let's try this. And when we hovered, it's now grayish. And then let's say we want to change the font. Let's do Shift I again and navigation button text. 
the font is set to deja vu sans which is under button text so if we do button text underscore font this is the one if we search this it's deja vu sans so we can replace this we already have the font here let's go to game let's create another folder we call it fonts let's move our font there brendan right let's change this to brendan right that if ptf so we already checked the has a uh, format the file format is dot ptf this should be under the folder of fonts now the font looks better so let's make the font larger we can do let me do shift i again navigation button text and we'll see here that the size is set to 33 so we can just say button text underscore size it will lead to another variable which is this one let's copy paste and search it so this one is the font size uh let's make it a little larger but still noticeable so 45 should do click return and now the font is larger it looks very crowded so we want the spacing to be a bit larger i guess so let's do shift i again and let's go to the v box we have this our navigation v box and the spacing is set to six we want this to be larger uh, let's go back navigation v box let's go to screen and our navigation screen which has the style perfect navigation we should have our v box here this one and its spacing is set to gui navigation spacing so if we find this here it should be set to six so again we could just replace this to be i don't know double it will be less crowded so do shift r i think that's it let's do a larger number just to see if it's really working yeah so it's working let's do 12 r shift r again okay so i think that looks a little bit better In options and you can see show name so let's just set this to false so it says determines if the title given above is shown on the main menu screen set the false set this to false to hide the title so you can just return shift r if you're learning from this tutorial please smash the like button this is a great way of helping me reach more audience by improving the videos rank in the youtube algorithm the next videos are about ui tutorials so if you're not subscribed yet please do let's go to start let's do right click so as you notice all the buttons was changed like even this one because um we changed the button itself and we did a lot of changing here instead of under the screens that rpy so if instead we want maybe just to change the font from this navigation and not really every button what we should have done was let's go again to the font uh font and then let's find this okay so it is brendan right let's copy the default and copy this so let's go back to the screens rpy which will find the navigation button text so it's the same one here uh yeah let's do the font okay so here it is when we do start let's go to preference you can see that the font here didn't change but we don't want it to be um, in this position instead we want to do the x align this was originally set to offset 60 right so you can just say if main menu we want the x align to be 0 0.5 if not or i mean else it should be x uh, offset equals to 60. so if we do this the position is there so let's go back to the main menu it's still set here then let's go to the game menu and then it's here and same goes for the y offset 
so if you want to customize the y offset to be higher so you can put this inside the if statement and let's set this to y align i think the default before was 0 0.5 you have this here start and so you can see this one um was back to its original position so you'll notice here that the save button has a different color because it's the current selected screen so you can just do history and then you can also do preferences so how to change this color we can just do shift I again and let's check the navigation button text and this one is the selected color let's find button text and then it should be selected color so it's this one let's set this to red so once we change screen the selected color also changes so it's the same thing here um if we skip the unseen text they are also buttons they will be changed as well so if you don't want this one to be reflected since they are buttons let's go to the navigation button text scroll down a bit so this one so you can do selected color and then let's just set it to red again so now only this navigation button text is replaced how do we know that this is called navigation button text? It's because it is a button text that has a style prefix of navigation. Where can we find that? So it is set here, style prefix navigation. So this just means that it will be using the style navigation underscore and then whatever item is here. So if it's text button, we know that that's a button text. So how do we know what type it is? What I do is shift I and then we'll see here that what type it is. And also here, you can say that this is a text inside the button. So it's a button text. So yeah, and the same here, um, navigation V box. We want to change this preferences text to be something else because it's too long compared to the other text. So what we need to do is find the preferences text. Uh, it's this one and you can just replace this. It's two options. So, and then let's reload shift R and now we have replaced it. And once we go to our game menu, it also replaces here. So the last one will be about outlines and you can just code the outline by coding outlines and then I have it here. So this means that we have an outline with a three sides, meaning the thickness of the outline, and then a white color, and then the X offset and the Y offset. So X offset is zero, Y offset is zero. The offset means the distance from its original position. So I don't know if you noticed, but we have here the white outline. Let's change this to a more visible text, I think. Let's change this to green and now we have a green outline. And let's say we want this to be thinner. Let's say 2. Became thinner. I don't know if you noticed. And then let's add an X offset. Start. We can also do negative 10 or negative 10 for the Y. It will move up. And can also see that in our option. So that's it for this tutorial. Hope you learned a thing or two. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.